Hi, Larry Gaines, Power Cycle Trading. Uh, in yesterday's video, uh, I discussed the uh, seasonality effects and tr you know trading with the seasonal trend. So, you know, I was talking about soybeans and wheat and some other things, but wanted to revisit this soybean trade just to show you um, kind of where it stands, what uh, where it's starting to develop. So, here's the seasonality trend chart. This is a seasonal patterns going back five years, fifteen years, thirty years. And this has been typically, you know, when you get into early April, right around here, it, it's typically a seasonal trend shift up where uh, you'll have soybeans stronger than wheat. So what the, the concept is that you would go long soybeans. So this would be a July soybean long and then short July wheat. So you're playing a spread and it doesn't really matter if the market then goes down all you want to have happen is that make sure that the soybeans hopefully doesn't go down as hard as wheat and that's really what happened today so i wanted to show you that how these spreads can work and you know you can basically with a spread make money five different ways versus if you're just long you can only make money if it goes up if you're short you can only make money if it goes down and this is a pretty strong seasonal trend 14 out of the last 15 years this has been a winning seasonal pattern so let's take a look and break down the trade so here's that spread. So this would be, be be long July soybeans and then short July wheat. So this is that spread, the difference between the two when it was put on. So today we did that. That setup was today done at $526.87 per uh, bushel and it went out at 535. So it's basically every each point on this spread is $50. So this is, you know, close to $400 from this 526.87 basically to 535. That's about $400 per spread for one one spread. But the other thing that uh, it tends to, to work pretty good too with Fibonacci. So here's that prior high 570.85 to the low here. So you know today we just broke through this 21 exponential moving average and also a 382 retracement. So I'm looking for a potential move here to maybe 540 maybe up to 547 and you know and then see where it goes from there so that's what the spread looks like and then I'll, the next chart will show you what it looks like when you put the two side by side so as you can see in the in the earlier uh, uh, slide uh, or, or shot screenshot I was showing you the spread between July um, soybeans and wheat and you can see here this is just showing you July soybeans so today you know it didn't move at all soybeans kind of stayed flat sideways but it was down so it was down but look see you can see the the big difference was that wheat sold off real hard and so that's why that spread works so this was a volatility squeeze and and wheat got hit hard to the downside and, and soybeans stay flat so that's one way another way you can make uh, money even if the you know soybeans uh, don't go up hope that helps talk to you on the next video